both of you have this mutual attraction to slingshots. She and had a Can-Am Spider. It's a smaller motorcycle one. You gotta have a helmet. And she wanted to purchase a slingshot, so I offered my slingshot for 20K, okay. but she wanted to pay 17.5. That's when I took everything off of it that I paid for extra. Okay. It was just a plane, okay. and the I'm, one I'm she just, bought is definitely not better than mine. I'm right now. <laughs> Period. <laughs> what I meant to say was because you both like this. You start a business, you buy a trailer in order to conduct the business. You laid out the $9,000 and you reimbursed their $4,500. You, however, retained possession of the vehicle because you couldn't. And after you purchased the trailer, you applied for a business registration. And Ms. Mitchell, you claim that you hired the person, you gave him the information necessary to start the business, but then when the information was sent to you, everything was in Ms. Mitchell's name. Name, address, And it was the wonder. wrong business entity. How do you explain that? I believe the guy just went off my social media because it did not have my name. My see, prior you, name used to be Kenyatta Reynolds. Ms. Mitchell, did you see the documentation before it was sent no. to the plane? As soon as he sent it to me, I sent it to her. So when you get it, you say, wait a minute, what's going on here? And you begin to distrust the relationship. Right, so I you asked you want her. to end it. And at some point in time, you tell the defendant you want to buy her out. And at the same time, you say, I'll buy you out, give me $4,500, am I right? And that was never an option she granted to me. She started telling me she's going to be bringing buyers by my house. All right, you have the trailer now. If the defendant gave you $4,500, that would end the situation for you. Isn't that true? Why are you suing her for $9,000? I'm suing her for the cost of the trailer, the harassment, the loss of business that I have lost. I don't even know why the police was ever involved. This well, is a civil Well, first of matter. all, both of you made mistakes in this relationship. You should not have called the police, and you should not have failed to engage with the defendant when she wanted to try and resolve it. Oh, I, I tried to engage That's with why her. we're here. Because no. there's a conflict. <laughs> that is a not why we're here. No, she, why are we here? Because all the underhanded, conniving stuff that transpired. I haven't heard. I anything. gave her 30 days to buy me out. All she, she said that was, never happened. She just said that a little while ago. That never happened. What's yeah, that? No. We didn't you, give each other an option. That's what she said. I, I'm speaking. Um, I gave her on July 23rd 30 days to buy me out. She was making arrangements to rent the trailer out talking about she's bringing people by to show them the trailer. You can't bring nobody to my property talking about you're showing a vehicle for sale. I never even gave you permission to sell. If you want to buy me out, I, I got you have it. the permission to sell.